This video is to show you how you can use standard tubes to generate hose assemblies or, for example, companies that purchased hose assemblies uh, specific lengths. So basically this is just a, a sample assembly and I'll do it a routing flexible tube, standard tubes, and then pick from a list of standard hose fittings, or excuse me, hose assemblies uh, that are at a specified length. So I'll just insert the tube and using smart mates in my hose fittings I can just snap the the fittings in place and it's automatically going to generate the correct length spline for me. And the correct length hose. And basically I'll do the same thing, except this time of course the fittings are in different locations. But I'll use the same hose assembly. It's going to be the same length. So there's my two assemblies, they're identical. And let's create a drawing of this. and put a bill of material on the drawing. And I'll use my popping bomb. And I'll only use top level components. Now right now even though those two assemblies are identical uh, they have different file names, so are listed as two separate components. So I'll need to go in and fix that issue. What I can do is open up each individual assembly, go to the properties, and set it to use a specific name. And specific name will be the part number. And do that for both. Of the assemblies. And now if I go back to my drawing, the drawing shows us two part numbers, but I can go to the properties and for part configuration, I want a group, I want a display configuration with the same name as one item. And now I've got a quantity of two of the holes. And if I wanted to balloon this assembly, I can balloon it. And the whole assemblies have the same item number.